I've always been really fascinated by fire and not in a pyromania way. Just in the way that um, you can take these inanimate organic objects and rub them together and then by some supernatural force you have life sustaining light and heat. I just think that's truly amazing. So in 2005, my sister got this job at a, a wilderness treatment program for adolescents dealing with things like anger and defiance and ADHD and just generally very unhappy young people who teachers and parents are just totally sick of and they're like, go to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, well, she at the time would, you know, help facilitate this transformative experience. And I wasn't really interested in that. At the time, I was uh, really busy pursuing my career as a ski bum. And although it wasn't very lucrative, I was enjoying it and uh, eventually ran out of money and thought, hey, I need a job. She also showed me how to make fire without any matches or lighters um, with something called a bow drill kit, which is this um, bow that has string on it. Um, that you make out of uh, a branch and then this little, you make this spindle and you push down the spindle onto this board of wood with enough force and friction that eventually uh, um, this punk builds up and enough of that makes a coal. And then the coal you can put into this little thing called a tinder bundle which is this little like uh, bunch, like a little nest of, um, of tree bark and you put the coal in there and then you blow it and eventually it flames and then you put that on the ground you put little tiny sticks um, <clears throat> it's like really hard and ridiculous and the only reason you would do it is to teach kids how to have patience or something like that <laughs> so so I join sign me up let's go and uh, we're there we go. My sister and I got to work together, which is really cool. We have this awesome connection. We've been best friends since she was born. Um, when I saw her and was like, that's mine. So we've always had this great connection. And we, they put us together as a team. And we go out into the woods and we have these kids. And basically, the idea is like, you take these kids, you shock them out of their behavior patterns. You put them into the woods where they can't control anything. Those negative behaviors become really apparent, and then we give them the tools to work on them. And that's the theory. Really, what we do is just try to keep them alive <laughs> and like somewhat entertained, and like that's about it. And there's this one particular day. Um, that was just truly epic. It's, it started with a snake in the campground, um, a copperhead, which because this was in um, the mountains of North Carolina, and we were trained, I'm not kidding, to kill copperheads if they were in the camp. They even like showed us how to carve a little stick with like a Y in the end of it that we would like pin the snake down and then cut its head off. And we had to... <laughs> Seriously, I don't know if they do that anymore, but... Because they're territorial and they'll bite a kid and again, need to keep them alive. So I did it. It was awful. And then we like are about to head off and a kid <laughs> runs away. And my sister has to chase the kid. And then while she's chasing the kid, another kid gets like stung by a bee who's allergic to bees. But my sister has all the stuff for allergic reactions to bee stings. So I have to go and chase my sister, leave the kid. You're not supposed to do that. You know, grab the backpack, come back, give her the Benadryl, hope she doesn't die because we can't get like cell phone service. Um, and eventually, like, we get the kid back, the girl doesn't die, we move on. And then it starts raining, like, pouring rain, torrential downpour. It's awful. Um, we don't, like, it's like raincoats are a joke at this point. Like, there's just, like, nothing, like, no salvation. Um, and they're miserable, and they hate us, and they're yelling at each other, and, like, we're trying to pretend that we're not scared, but we're terrified, and uh, these kids are just, like, they're a mess. They hate life. They already hated life, but now they're, like, <laughs> F you. <laughs> we're not going any further. So we're, like, okay. <laughs> we, we set up camp in the torrential downpour, and we finally get everyone. They have these little tarps they set up. We finally get everyone all settled in. And then a flash flood, I'm not even kidding, comes in, <laughs> takes out all the tarps. We have to go. <laughs> so we get them, and we go to this, like, higher ground. We set up camp. We make something that I like to call a tarp cabin. 
because at this point, like the rules about having them be 10 feet away from each other is just stupid. And we just set up all the tarps and we have to start a fire and everything is soaking wet. And we've taught these kids that we have to like keep things dry and um, we have their little tinder bundles and stuff. Nobody did it. Everything's wet. All I have is this one little tinder bundle. We have some little hemlock sticks and we have this amazing connection, me and my sister. Determination. We put this down on the ground. We just start blowing into it. You know, we get the punk, we get the coal, we put it in there. And we're blowing, at this point, like, it has to be constant um, air. So I'm going, while she's breathing in. And just for, like, five minutes, we're just, like, it's amazing, and it's scary, and we're afraid we're going to die, but we have to do it. And finally, 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 we get a flame. And then we start building a little twig thing, and then we start drying out the sticks, and eventually we have a full-blown fire, and it's amazing. And we're, like... It's not over, but it is like this amazing thing just happened where just with a little bit of persistence, some determination, love, connection, and maybe a little magic, we made it out alive. Yeah.